as you can see very autumn colors on my desk uh, today's project is about drawing and coloring maple leaf as you can tell I have some gorgeous real maple leaves from my Japanese maple trees actually which I love 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 in my garden they're changing the color beautifully right now so I decided to bring you some for the inspiration as you can tell my trials weren't the best to start with and that's okay I'm here to show you how to draw maple leaf and also how to color it with really fun technique with those markers please stay with me I promise you it's easy it's quick it's fun and it's quite surprising effect shall we do it and to start with we will need some ruler some pencil and watercolor paper I'm using because it's really the best for water coloring kind of afterwards you will see yourself the effect that we will try to achieve we are starting basically with just a line nothing more complicated than a line then our next step will be to go uh, with this line starting wherever your leaf starts and doing like a little house kind of but this house has to be kind of ish pointy and also um, instead of his walls going straight we're gonna go a little bit a little bendy inwards inside perfect then we have to decide how big is our leaf same for if you take a real leaf same for so for example our leaf could have uh, the ending the beginning of the next leaf here we're doing another house but this time not as pointy and without building walls we're just doing just lines really and then we're gonna go up a little bit higher and up a little higher yet again there we go perfect and then kind of kind of the same length I would say uh, as here the same here and the same here so like a mm, mirror mirror lines here it's a leaf it's not a mathematics so it doesn't have to be extremely perfect just helping <laughs> it's gonna be a kind of um, kind of similar then a little bit longer line not too long like I've just done like a little longer perfect if you need you can rub it off no problem there we go so a little longer line perfect and then we have to do um, going from kind of here going from this house lines here perfect and then this should go really down same for here maybe I'll change position a little here and there maybe this is too short so I'm gonna kind of go here perfect something like that so there we go if I didn't like this that's okay wipe it off super so as you can tell it's like a little person head little little legs little hands isn't it <laughs> to begin with really easy I have to say that I was thinking how to actually think about the the actual leaf how to draw it I wanted to print it but then I figured we are crafters artists um, really arty souls here we have to learn how to draw it so next step is to make this kind of really awkward looking into more leafy looking we start with kind of uh, we try to make those little roundy things at the end of our leaves right so our leaves must be a little more roundy and same here and we kind of build up extra extra um, um, pointers so same for here we can have little pointers and we can we can of course make a little um, like these are these maple maples are very straight here but the regular maples they are more roundy here so oh that's my phone <laughs> sorry that's time to collect Emily from school <laughs> so here it is there we go so we kind of pointers in halfway down and same for here there we go and same for here super I like that and we changing here and pointers again and pointers again and it would be good to make a pointer here in the middle pointer here and there we go our leaf is ready really if you look at it <laughs> obviously we could make this less stra straight now so kind of being more freely in your drawing but that's the kind of idea isn't it that's kind of the idea guys so here it is 
beautiful beautiful maple leaf not difficult isn't it I think it's not difficult and you know what you can rub it off wherever you feel like and you know what it's it's really um, down to trials and I'm gonna grab the see this one is another one so whichever looks better to you uh, you can make the, them shorter but I think because this was my first so here it is <laughs> but because we are trying it's okay that you do it again second time third time please 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 don't think that it works for others but not for you <laughs> it's not like this it's not true it should work for everyone afterwards uh, better or worse that's okay now our next step is to color everything and what I'm gonna be showing you today it's a technique where we will be actually oh, using something really fun water and watercolor markers you can try with the regular markers and I will try as well these are Hannah's markers I'm gonna grab those and see if she if we can actually use her beautiful markers these are from actually Lidl so we will see if these will work as well and I'm gonna try that maybe on this leaf or whichever so we can have that and there's even what a selection of colors to be honest quite surprising so awesome we leave those on the side here and I'm gonna be showing you what to do now with the water let's paint let's do okay let's paint let's do some water coloring now we're gonna do is adding just water everywhere inside our actual leaf so that's our plan for now We're watering all the elements now you may want to look a little bit uh, from the angle at it because it's transparent water obviously so you may not see everything so just to make sure that you see everywhere if the every water is in all the angles and everywhere you may want to have a look and maybe being a little bit uh, at the angle may help so yes there we go there we go okay that's our step number one where do we begin now what do we do with the coloring we will be actually ah, look at that adding and coloring and hoping for some color flow as you can tell right now I'm I'm really much adding I hope you can see that well I am really adding a lot of that um, marker I'm touching and pressing because our our um, eco lines are watercolor based these are perfect for uh, this type of work uh, they should kind of react lovely like this and especially when we press so oops that's okay you can always redo things look how beautiful the pigment is moving such a fabulous technique there we go wow I love it the harder you press the, the more pigment will go obviously okay shall we add a different color like a little bit of orangey <gasps> look at this now whoa beautiful <gasps> I love it wow. the color running is unbelievable I was doing a little bit of camera because of camera with the yellow because I wanted to record really close with my phone with my second camera let just get a little bit of that oh look even on top of other color and I've added as you could tell a little bit of water in here look how absolutely gorgeous that is now if you feel like it's not maybe pointy enough you can look fix that always because of course the pigment kind of went around it but I think it just made it looking even prettier if you ask me the imperfections and all those kind of that it's so <laughs> very much um, 
very much. Oh, it's so gorgeous now. <laughs> we need this to dry. Oh, wow. I love it. Let's try the number two. Number two. By the way, I was doing some practice <laughs> off camera before I started it and that's where the idea came from. Sometimes I just play around just to see what's going on and then some idea sparks and I'm like, wow, this is it. So that's what we will do now. Get rid of those few lines and let's try and let's see if we can use the regular kids markers. I'm very curious about them markers. So let's, oops, let's see. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see, we are going to have to add some water as well. So there we go. Look a little bit with the angle. So you will then know if there is water everywhere. We don't want too much water either, but you know, make sure that your page is wet enough. You know, that it's enough enough of wetness in the actual page, in the paper. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it will work. I really think it will work because kids kids products shouldn't be too pigmented or shouldn't be too... they should be water based or something. I don't have the... Um, I don't... I just don't know because I don't have the... Oh, this one is nice. I don't have the packaging so I don't know but let's see. It is working guys. It is actually working. <laughs> wow! It's not as spreadable but you know what? It is working. And I think at the end, I believe we will be able to... If you hold closer, it's better. I think at the end we will be able to, I think, add um, some more water on top. And I think this will help. I'll see if we need a little bit more water then. Just to... There we go. Just to kind of play around. A little bit more maybe. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's a little different effect, but I like that. Let's see. Let's. Oh, brown one. I love it. You may get a nicer kind of effects with the actual mixing the colors with the water afterwards. We'll see. It's not as pigmented, but it is working. It is working, so it's not that you need to have this or that. No. These are quite similar color, although I chose a different one, but it's similar. Let's grab the orange now. It's not as pigmented, but let's see. Maybe we just have to add more color everywhere in general, and then add water and we will have this lovely kind of effect. Let's see. Mm -hmm. In a few places maybe. Oops, a little bit in yellow as well. And how about a little crazy with a little bit of purple. Oh beautiful. Imagine this now we will Add some beautiful, beautiful water inside and hopefully we will have... There we go. Let's try to play with water. And let's see if they will melt, not melt, if they will nicely blend in. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it does work. And it does the magic of being beautifully blended and all. It kind of uh, a little bit too much when it comes to a little bit too much spreading out. But maybe that was because my actual markers not, are not as pointy as these. You see? So the more professional are way more pointy than these kiddie ones. But that's okay. I think for the kids play, if you have smallies to play with I think they will they would absolutely love 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 this technique 
I encourage you to try out and you know have a little bit of play and I'm trying to fix it a little bit but it's okay it went a little too far two different <laughs> leaves but both beautiful I like it I look I like it and <laughs> We're not here to have any perfection, isn't it? Um, when this is dry, I'm going to add some lines, maybe. Mm, I think it would be only fair to make test number three, because I realized that I drew on this side. Um, so this was not watercolor. This is more watercolor side. Do you know what? I'm going to try it again, because I really like to be sure that I, I can, you know, do it. I can def be definite about things. So I'm going to put these things aside again and we're going to do it once more. Let's do it once more on the watercolor side and I'm going to use the cheaper, uh, the cheaper, um, um, the cheaper, <laughs> the cheaper markers, well, the kiddie, kiddies, kiddie markers more. So look, that's my fourth leaf or something and I'm, I feel that I'm quite faster than I was. So, you know, it's all about practice, guys, all about kind of practice and just hoping to to you know do it and mm -hmm. I'm trying to see I like that so let's just see if we can actually we can actually oh this is a very pretty uh, leaf I have to say and we'll see maybe we do half of the leaf oh, let's do it half of the leaf with the pro markers and half of the leaves without the pro markers how is that let's do that <laughs> let's do that okay and we're gonna do water on both the same way Mm -hmm. I may just get the bigger brush going here but the points I'm gonna maybe make it with the tiny smaller brush so that it's not gonna be going too far oopsie this one is dirty oh well that's okay we drag it both ways mm -hmm. okay same for here so I'm trying to be very fair in the watering both sides and all. So yeah. That's gonna be super test. Let's do it. Oh I'm so excited about that now. Okay, we're gonna get um what? We're gonna get the red, the red and the red. Then we're gonna get no. I'm gonna swap because I'm left-handed, so the let's call it the kind of less pigmented uh, are gonna be on my better hand than on the right. Oh, this one was here. Sorry. So then the orange and then the yellow. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be such a fun test. So uh, drawing together. Well, I'll try. I'll try anyway. Oh wow! You can see miles away that. Yes, this, um, wow, <laughs> that uh, this marker, they were eco lines, those are eco, br eco line brush pens. Oops, way better. I, I am, and I, I, I know that, but like way less, <laughs> way less I need to add in here. But you know what, this one is working not too bad as well, guys. Give it a give it a chance, like give it a you know, a credit to it, like a credit as well to it. Let's let's not be like this. So I um, maybe add a little bit more water on the left side, just to help out a bit more because this is this is less le on both, but a little bit kind of trying to help out the cheaper product to work. It's magic. Okay, okay. You can easily see the <laughs> how the pigments goes and all. Okay, next one is orange. Oops. 
Oh wow, look at that orange. That's a different orange. It's like a brown orange. I have to say. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh wow. This barely goes. This one goes beautifully. I have to say. Like really, really nice. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> That's okay, Marta, isn't it? Let's get the brown one here because... Uh, this one is more brown, so let's try to have them both happy and all. Wow. It's interesting to see the difference, isn't it? If I'm holding strong enough and long enough, it's working better. But, yeah. Oh, well. I think that's a great... Sorry, I'm running from the camera all the time. No. It is gorgeous. What a fun technique, isn't it? You have to try it. I mean, it's so satisfying to even look at how beautiful that is. I'm just mixing both now, just to have them happy here. Okay. <laughs> okay, and lastly is the yellow. So let's see. Obviously they don't this is a brush pen, it's different, but that's okay, we can just, there we go, play around like that. Gorgiso! <laughs> Gorgiso! I fixed that there, on that side. Okay, wow! Now, we do have to say that I love the actual color scheme on the left, I really love it. It's For me it's even prettier color scheme wise, but indeed it's not a satisfying effect here, but it is working and I think it is way worth to try it and do it with your kids or with or yourself, just you know, just do it yourself guys. So we need to dry this and finish off. In the camera the coloring is really hard on the eye I think. From my liking, I love how the colors here are on the edges. They really do remind me of the actual maple leaf isn't it and uh, the blending and how it worked this was way more kind of nicer but which side do you prefer is it the cheap one the left one or is it the right one uh, I'm gonna finish off because I would love that and you know what I didn't plan on doing comparison video cheap to expensive but I think we did pretty good job here and I'm happy we've managed to do it so which side do you prefer Tell me, please tell me <laughs> which side do you prefer? Um, I really, truly love how this turned out on both ends, I have to say. And none less, none more, any of those. I think they are both equally beautiful. And look, yeah, our maple leaf is ready. Please definitely uh, tag me in your projects. We have a new hashtag happening. I think it's going to be painting with Maremi. Uh, I think it's just nice for the, the the next couple of weeks and months coming with the easy exercise. I have done, I don't know whether it's already on the channel or not, but I'll show you anyway. I've done already two paintings like that. I don't know what sort of, what when and what will be added but yeah sneak peeks for you I love that I'm so in love with this cheap and expensive supplies and how absolutely gorgeous effect that is that's it my friends thank you so very much for watching I hope you liked it enjoyed it thank you for being here don't forget to use hashtag painting with Maremi you can click on that hashtag others can see your makes you can see others you can comment you can like it you can just see how others are having their own version their own take on the same type of project the same theme it's always fun to watch it so thank you so very much and i'll chat to you soon i love you but i have to go till the next time happy painting bye bye